and welcome to the Learning is Change list, the web series where I get to tackle all of the things that I would like to learn how to change in education with a community of reflective practice vloggers in order to create an engine for authentic learning. A friend of mine, Paul Allison, does his daily reflective practice using a video camera, but he does it while it is attached to his body and he is jogging. He used to do this using just audio and a podcast, but now he does it using video, and I get to see all of the different parts of his neighborhood, his physical neighborhood around New York City. And he talks about extremely interesting things, and it is disjointed at times because he's speaking through panting and sort of uh, having to cross streets and all of those kinds of things, but it is interesting and passionate. And he chose to react to a question that I gave. And, uh, and I wanted to reply to him because I think what he is talking about from uh, references within Peter Elbow's research I think is really interesting. And I wanted to give him a moment to speak and then I wanted to comment on why I think it's so interesting. What opportunities are you giving teachers to explore and know about this language? So he's talking about some work from Peter Elbow that is all about the home languages of students and learners and how we can take those into account in our teaching and how we can use those in order to be more effective. But he was taking it and sort of flipping it on its head and thinking about home languages as a technological component. He was thinking about what are the spaces within online environments. What are the languages that they are using, the currency that they are using, and these are learners, in order to create new things, in order to exist within those spaces, and how can we get to know those better? How do we get to know those communities of practice? How do we get to know those home languages and use them to the best effect as teachers of learners? To me, this concept is really engaging. The idea that we could use video as a home language to better understand our learners. The idea that we could understand and dissect text, language, and lingo and say, I know where your community exists and I would like to use that to better effect within the classroom, within a blended learning environment. How do we actually blend that home language in? as a component of the technology. Because I tend to think of the technology within a blended learning environment as imposing a language rather than understanding a home language, rather than connecting with the home languages of the learners and their technology usage. It has much more to do with establishing a standard of that technology, establishing a standard way of going through a piece of curriculum, rather than referencing and pulling inward those home languages of the learner. Whether that is using a mobile device, an SMS, or it is using a different medium like video, whether it is using those creative exploits of technology, the back and forth of the conversation rather than the standardization of that overarching language, the official language of blended learning. And so what I wanted to think about, and what I'd like to change within education, is the idea that there is an official language of blended learning that we must use, rather than pulling in the home languages of learners into that space. How can we do that? How can we do that better than we currently do it right now? How do we reference the ways in which the students and the learners are using the technology on their own to create new and interesting communities? How do we pull that in and make that an authentic part of the blended learning environment so that they are making in the similar ways that they are doing at home or on their own? within this blended learning space. If you'd like to help me think that through, please do so in the comments, subscribe on YouTube, or join us on the Google Plus community. Thank you so much for watching.